S3 Glacier Deep Archive combines S3 and Glacier into a single set of APIs. It's the most cost effective way of storing archive objects in S3, period. Um, so there are two retrieval tiers. We have standard at 12 and, uh, 12 and 48 hours. There's no archive size limit. This is going to be the default. You have bulk tier. This is when you're working with petabytes worth of data. Same time period. I need to point out there is no expediated tier for Glacier Deep Archive, whereas there is uh, for S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval. It still has that 40 kilobytes. It's still going to charge you uh, like uh, a similar scheme to S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval. It's going to cost more because the retrieval fee is going to cost more because you're going to be uh, storing it at a lower cost. You're tr trading super low storage for a higher retrieval fee. I don't list the prices here, but I'm telling you that it's cheaper. Glacier Deep Archive is not a separate service and does not require a vault just to not get it mixed up with S3 Glacier vaults. There you go.